Hey everyone, so if you're like me, you're using Docker and you're creating custom images with the same tag. So if you if you keep creating the same image with the same tag, what will happen is the old tag will will be removed. So what happens if you have Docker running like I do, I'm going to type Docker images. Um, you'll notice that inside of your images list, you're going to have some repositories or tags that are none. And while it's not very bad on my machine right now, um, in, in any given day, I end up with a lot of untagged images. So everyone, once in a while, you may find it necessary, well, maybe you want to clean up those untagged images. Um, and there's actually a trick to doing that, so that way you don't have to, one by one, uh, type in the, the hash code right here, the image ID, um, to remove them. Because I, I used to do that as well. I just copied this. I did a, a Docker, say for example, I did Docker... RMI and then pasted that in, um, that's kind of a pain. So instead what you can actually do is you can do the following. So you can say docker images hyphen F and then you can say dangling and you can say equals true. And so what that did was it found all of the untagged or in this case they're calling it dangling images. Um, so with that you can actually uh, further pipe that into another command to actually remove them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear and I'm going to say docker rmi and I'm going to say dollar sign and this is for for Mac it probably works on Linux I'm not sure if it works the same way on Windows you may have to alter this just a little bit but I'm going to say rmi I'm going to say docker images hyphen f dangling equals true and then q for quiet so well Actually, it's not truly quiet. What it's actually doing is it's only going to return the image ID, so that hash value, rather than all of those columns. So if I run this, it'll get all of the untagged IDs. It'll pipe them into this Docker RMI command, and it should remove all of them. So let's give it a shot. So there was a conflict. Um, so I guess I have some containers using that. Um, so let's go ahead and, and instead of doing RMI, let's do... RMI and then we'll say hyphen F so force it and it went ahead and removed them all so if I now do docker images I don't have any more untagged or dangling images so it's a it's a it's a great way to clean stuff up um, and it's it's useful to use it over time maybe put it on a cron if you want um, whatever fits your needs uh, the best way